Ben, Arissa Evans, Columbus Technical College, CRN 23465. In my audience today, we have Mary, Leah, Jasmine, and Mania. Today, I'm going to read you guys a book called Mr. Pet Putter and Tabby Make a Wish. And the author's name is Cynthia Ryland. She's the one that wrote the book, and it's illustrated by Arthur Howard. He's the one that drew, drew the picture. The book is about this old man who who has a birthday, a birthday party, and he gets a surprise at the end. It was a beautiful morning. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby were eating raisin crumpets and apple jam and reading the morning paper. So we have Tabby and Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter looked at the date of the paper. October 2nd. Good heavens. Tabby, said Mr. Putter, it's my birthday. Tabby looked at Mr. Putter and purred. She was a little messy from apple jam, but she was glad it was Mr. Putter's birthday, and birthdays meant apple jam. Mr. Putter put the paper down and began to think. He thought of all his many birthdays, especially those when he was a boy. He, he had loved birthdays then. He always got really good presents, like a scooter or a model plane. He got a cake with candles. He got balloons. He got company. Birthdays were perfect. Y'all love birthdays, don't they? Don't you? Yeah. They're fun. But now Mr. Putter was old. Too old for scooters and model plane kits. Too old for balloons. Too old for a cake with candles. He'd need a fire hose to put them out. Mr. Putter was just too old for a birthday. He would not think about it. He would not think about cake or candles or balloons or a model plane kit. He would eat, he would enjoy his breakfast with Tabby and said, More jam, Tabby? asked Mr. Putter. Tabby purred. Jam was nice. Jam was fine. Mr. Putter would just have more jam. See, he's giving Tabby more jam. Mr. Putter couldn't help it. He wanted more than just jam for his birthday. I am too old for birthdays, Tabby, said Mr. Putter. But I want one anyway. Anybody wants birthday parties. They're so fun. Mr. Putter decided he could at least have some company. He would invite his neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry, and her good dog, Zeke, to tea. Mr. Putter called Mrs. Teaberry. He told her it was his birthday, and he invited her to tea. Wonderful, said Mrs. Teaberry. But first, I have to do the dishes. Can you wait? Mr. Putter said he could. He finished reading the paper. Mrs. Teaberry phoned. I have to curl my hair, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Putter said he could. He took a little snooze, and Mrs. Mrs. Teaberry phoned. I have to unclog the tub, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Putter said he could wait. He read a book. Mrs. Teaberry phoned. I have to find Zeke's ball, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Putter said he could wait. He clipped his nail. Mrs. Teaberry phoned. I'll be there soon, she said. Can you wait? <laughs> Mr. Putter wanted to say, no. no. Mr. Putter wanted to say, it's my birthday and I can't wait. It sounds like Mr. Putter was getting a little impatient, don't he? But Mr. Putter was nice. He said he could wait, even though he didn't want to. Mr. Putter was getting older by the minute. Soon it would be tomorrow, and tomorrow somebody else's birthday. Mr. Putter licked at Tabby, who was curled up in a bowl. So far, this was a very, so far, this is a very strange birthday, Mr. Putter said to Tabby. Mr. Putter thought Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke would never come to tea. He thought he wouldn't have to wait forever. He thought he, it, he would be waiting until his next birthday. But finally the doorbell rang. Mr. Put Putter opened the door. Surprise! <laughs> it was Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke. And Mrs. Teaberry was carrying an enormous cake loaded with dozens of candles. Look at all those candles. He's really old, isn't he? <clears throat> Zeke had a present around his neck and balloons on his tail. I have to make you wait, said Mrs. Teaberry, so I can bake a cake. Mr. Putter licked at all the candles. I'll need a fire hose to put those out, he said. When tea was served and he had opened his present, a model plane kit, Mr. Putter blew out all of his candles. It took five big breaths, plus the help from Mrs. Teaberry's hat. 
but he got them out. Did you make a wish? Asked Mr. T-Berry. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby and at Mrs. T-Berry and Zeke. He couldn't think of anything to wish for. He had everything, even a model playing kit. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. T-Berry and Zeke ate cake for days and days. And Mr. Putter built his plane, model plane almost perfectly. He just got a little mixed up on the tail. It had been such a wonderful birthday. Of all the birthdays in Mr. Putter's long life, this one really has been worth the wait. The end. What did you guys think? What you think? Um, he, that he was impatient and he couldn't wait for Mrs. T-Berry to come to his house and have Oh, hey. Thank you.